Well, let's hope no one in Arizona has to wear a parka during that picnic, Henry. Not anytime soon, but looking at here, yeah, we've got mild weather that extends all the way into the northern Rockies with 40s and 50s across the region. Thanks to a warm front, Bismarck is at 45. It was chilly or cool to start in Minot, but you skyrocketed to 42, 49 in Dickinson, 52 in Williston, and it's going to be a mild night, folks. Look at that lows only in the 20s and 30s, but that's going to be changing as we go into the weekend, but Friday looking great. A few clouds, but overall sunny. More clouds the second half of the day and highs are going to be back in the 50s once again. Friday weather looking good. Saturday, especially during the morning, a little bit tricky because a wintry mix is going to be likely and that could cause some slippery road conditions in some locations. Also, the wind is going to be breezy out of the east on Saturday. Saturday night and Sunday, that's where we get on the backside of that low pressure system. The precipitation and colder air pushes in and that's going to result in a transition to snow in addition to the wind becoming stronger out of the northwest. So for Saturday, there is that potential for a wintry mix anywhere in the region. So be sure to keep an eye on the road conditions in case things change. Now, as far as a winter storm potential, there is a likelihood that we could get some moderate accumulating snow, mainly for residents along and north of Highway 2. But we are expecting widespread snow nonetheless statewide, but any probability of maybe a winter storm warning being issued that would be across our far northern counties if that so we'll be watching Minot, um, Stanley and northward into Crosby portal and the Turtle Mountain region Sherwood you are also included. Let's take a look and see how much snow we could potentially get and the accumulations not looking very promising at least higher accumulations not looking promising across the southern half of the region mainly south of highway 200 that chance of two inches or more very very low but once you get north of highway 200 especially north of highway 2 the chances for two or more inches of snow greatly increase and this is mostly going to be on your sunday so in looking at the um, forecast for tracking the snow Saturday morning into the afternoon wintry mix possible as we go from south to north. The low pressure passes by and we start to get that wraparound moisture and colder air coming in on the back side of the system. And with the precipitation and colder air, that will increase the chances of a transition to all snow as we go into the rest of your Sunday. And with that northwest wind strong, we could be dealing with some areas of blowing snow. The falling snow does gradually exit the region by at least Monday morning. Maybe some light snow across the south the second half of your Monday, but um, the big story is going to be the likelihood of snow for your Sunday. So travel plans for some may need to put, be put on hold. Doesn't look like we'll be below freezing for long, guys. Check it out. We're back in the 30s and 40s by the mill next week. Yeah, there's no crack, it'll stay very mm -hmm. long. It won't. Thanks, Henry. <laughs>